Yo folks, what's up? This is Adam here, I can't see the guy, hope you're having a good day. It's been a while since I've done a movie review. You know, I know I took a, like a little bit of a hiatus from making movie reviews and my WWE reviews as of late. Stacey for personal reasons. Well anyway, people have said, please come back, please continue your reviews. And one particular subscriber said, um, can you please go back to review the Halloween movies? Well I've reviewed Halloween 1 and 2. Uh, Halloween 1 and 2 I think are all time classics you know Halloween 1 was about the birth of Malcolm Myers I went into detail about how I think that's possibly the best Halloween movie in the franchise it's the scariest Malcolm Myers and um, I go into detail about how Malcolm Myers you know murdered his you know his siblings on um, Halloween night but sparing the baby's life he comes back all this time, grown up, and calls us havoc, stalking babysitters. We all know the story about Halloween. You know, Halloween 1 is an all-time classic. Definitely going to be one of the all-time greatest horror movies ever made. Love the development. Love how Malcolm Myers is the stalker. Creepy atmosphere. You know, how Malcolm Myers is stalking his victims slowly. You know, like, one minute he's hiding behind a bush. Next minute he's, like, behind a washing line. And then, you know, looking at people through school windows and all that kind of fucking mayhem. Halloween 2, I thought, was a very solid sequel about how it takes place in the hospital, you know, and we all came to terms that this was the end of Michael Myers, and indeed it was, because he's basically ashes at the end of that movie. So then you get to Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. Now, I remember on my old previous accounts, I really shat on this movie, and... Why did I shit on the movie? It's because I was a dumbass. You know, I was a dumbass and I hated it for the same reasons why everyone else was hating it. Because it did not show Michael Myers. And when I look back, I was kind of an idiot, but I'm now much more older and much more mature now. It's wrong to hate a movie because of the title. You know, I agree it should not have been called Halloween 3. It should have just have been called Season of the Witch. You know, because... A lot of people shat on Halloween 3 season of The Witch, but they saw it because Malcolm Myers was not in it. Well, if you remember, Malcolm Myers is now, is now basically ashes, and they wants to take the Halloween franchise in a new direction. A new direction where there'll be stories based on Halloween. Well, this Halloween 3 season of The Witch came in the year of 1982. And um, right off the bat, I'm going to tell you right now, um, I'm not a fan of this movie. Yes, I know people are going to come on here saying, ah, what are you talking about? This movie's an underrated gem. You're hating on it for the same reasons why everyone else is hating it. And that's not true. I'm not hating on this movie because it does not have Michael Myers. I'm not hating on this movie because it's called Halloween 3. I'm not even hating on the movie. All I'm simply saying is this movie was not my cup of tea. That's the best way I can put it. I'm not going to come on here ranting saying that all these Halloween 3 seasons of the Witch fans suck. They're all fucking lonely virgins, or send them death threats, which I got. Yes, you heard, I got fucking death threats back in the day, all because I shat on Halloween 3 season of The Witch. And I hold my hands up, I was very unmature back then. But I've just got tried watching Halloween 3 season of The Witch moments ago, I thought to myself, I should watch it again, because people say it's an underrated gem, and it's deserve a rewatch. And I've just tried watching it moments ago. And the flashbacks and the bad memories hit me all at once. To the time when I watched it when I was in a bad mood. And I could not get through Halloween 3 Season of the Witch. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with it. It just is not my cup of tea. I mean, I know it opens up about that shopkeeper holding on to that, uh, that jack-o'-lantern mask. And there's that scene where a guy pours gasoline over himself, and etc. And I will give credit, there's some gruesome scenes in this movie. You know, like the eye scenes where he's pinning out the guy's eyes. and There's some there's some good gory scenes in this movie. There's some horrific scenes. But in my opinion, that does not make up for the whole movie. So the best way I can say to this, everybody, is that Halloween 3 is just not my cup of tea. If you like the movie, that's great. You know, I've, I've, I've looked at the research. I've done research on this movie. It does have its fan base. That's cool, too. And I know loads of subscribers of mine love this movie. That's absolutely perfectly great. Love the movie. You're entitled to your opinion. 
my opinion is there's nothing wrong with the movie. It just does not. It just was not my thing. Okay, so I'm not hating on it because Michael Myers is not in it, and I'm not hating it because it's called Halloween Three. I agree the title's wrong. It should just be called Season of the Witch. But again, I'm not going to come on here and start hating, start rambling and going on and on and on about why this movie is what it is. Okay, so that's my honest opinion about it. Like I say, I tried re-watching this movie and I just could not get through it, everybody. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's something to do with the, the plot or... Um, the way the direction this movie was going, I mean, it just wasn't really, like, appealing to me. It's just one of those movies where I played it, I paused it, did a few texting on my phone, played it again, um, answered the phone, paused it, go and take a piss, fucking play it again. And you should never do that while you're watching a movie. While you're watching a movie, you should be sitting down with no interruptions, Popcorn, drink beer, whatever. Fucking watch a movie all the way through with no interruptions. That's how you should probably watch a movie. If you're watching a movie where you're simply pausing the film, playing it, pausing it, doing other shit, you know something's wrong. You know something's not really appealing to you. And that's exactly how I was with Halloween 3 Season of the Witch. It was all pause play, pause play, pause play. And so that's the, that's the way of it. So I can't really say that this video is really a movie review. And I can't really say that this is a movie is like a rant either. This is just like a thoughts video. Thoughts on Halloween free season of The Witch. And it just was not my cup of tea. So again, this is not really a movie review. This is not really a rant. It's just me giving me my thoughts about this movie. You know, and like I say, it does have its fan base. There's lots of people who are massive fans of this movie. And that's cool. But again, I'm not going to come on here and pretend to be something that I'm not, you know. So, I could go on forever talking about this, about how I'm not going to defend the movie, how I'm not going to hate on the movie. So, I'm going to end it right here now and say, um, please leave a comment. I mean, I'm interested to hear your thoughts. What do you think about Halloween 3 Season of the Witch? Do you hate the movie? Do you like the movie? Do you think it's an underrated gem? Do you think it's overrated? I'd love to hear your thoughts, you know. So, please leave them in the comment section below. And tell me honestly what you think of Halloween 3 Season of the Witch. I'd love to hear your thoughts and hopefully we can get some sort of um, conversation going on about this. Because I'd like to hear about other people's thoughts and opinions about this movie. You know, start like a bit of a, um, a topic. Well, thanks for watching this everybody. I mean, I hope that answered everyone's questions. Sorry I couldn't get into a rant or a review like people were expecting. But it's hard to do a review on a movie, you know, we haven't really watched it properly. It's hard to do a rant. You know, when you don't really hate the movie. Like I say, I don't hate the movie, don't love the movie. It's just, bleh, you know, it's just there. So, thanks for watching this, everybody. Any of you have any questions, get those comments down. We'll get a conversation started about it. Thanks, everyone. Peace out.